The photo you're looking at now doesn't seem extraordinary. It's just a relief, likely a rural area. But beneath all that earth, one of the most fascinating archaeological discoveries was waiting to be revealed. This hill is located in Turkey, and it was known by the local population as a sacred place. In 1963, during an archaeological survey, stone tools found in the region date back to about 10,000 years ago. But for a long time, that was all. The sacred hill was left alone and modern civilization continued without knowing what lay beneath it. Until 1994, 31 years after the archaeological research that found stone tools, when archaeologists decided to return to the site and conduct a more thorough investigation. Excavations began, and the world was able to see for the first time in millennia the structure that is still considered the oldest human-made construction, Gobekli Tepe. I probably pronounced that wrong. It's hard to know precisely when it was built, but all the evidence shows that it's around 10,000 years old. The stone pillars located in the innermost regions have animal figures carved into them, which also offer a rare glimpse into the art and culture of that period. While exploring Gobekli Tepe's history for this video, I discovered a curious fact. Though not directly related, it was too intriguing to exclude. We are still not entirely sure whether it was indeed agriculture that made humans cease being hunter-gatherers, or if perhaps our ancestors began practicing agriculture because they had already stopped being hunter-gatherers. It is for this reason that to this day, we cannot definitively say whether Gobekli Tepe was a place where people lived or if it was a kind of ancient temple that people visited during specific times of the year. But still, it is the oldest construction that we know of, being at least 7,000 years older than Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids of Egypt. I became addicted to searching for ancient places, ruins of civilizations that once existed and have since vanished. But this fascination brought me a question almost like a complete opposite of the curiosity to discover ancient things. What exactly is the object or thing crafted by humans that is destined to last the longest? Hey, Pedro here. This video you are watching was originally in Portuguese, my native language. This is the attempt of our team to translate it to English. And I sincerely hope you enjoy it. Your feedback is extremely important to us. Now, back to the video. And this is the kind of question that causes a certain distress, a sort of existential crisis. When we ask which human-made object will last the longest, we are assuming that humanity will one day cease to exist. And that's kind of obvious, actually. Every civilization begins, flourishes, reaches its peak, and then, for one reason or another, inevitably ends. Some simply vanish and leave behind the ruins of what was once a glorious gift, while others end up being incorporated and become part of other, more modern civilizations. But the truth is that even we have a light at the end of the tunnel. Someday we too will be ruins that can be discovered by someone in the future. To imagine otherwise is naive. With that in mind, where can we start looking for the oldest objects created by mankind? Let's start in Egypt, more specifically in the place where the Great Pyramids were built. And I will choose the Great Pyramid of Giza as an example, because it is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world. It took 27 years to build, and at nearly 5,000 years old, it was the tallest structure made by humans for over 3,800 of those years. And another significant reason why I chose a pyramid is that it is practically intact. Practically because it suffered damage over time. When it was built, its outermost parts were covered with limestone, which made the site even more striking. It was 146.6 meters tall. Over time, this outer limestone layer was removed, which caused the pyramid to lose 8 meters in height. What we see today is actually its innermost part. And I find the Great Pyramid the perfect example to start with because unlike Gobekli Tepe, it didn't need to be excavated. It has been on the surface all this time and has coexisted with all the civilizations that have passed through Egypt since it was built. If we're looking for the human-made thing that'll last the longest, the Great Pyramid is the perfect place to start. It remains solid and imposing even almost 5,000 years after being built. But how long will it last? It's difficult to give a realistic time frame. The best we can do is estimate. We can say with certainty that the Great Pyramid will still exist long after anyone alive today is gone, but that doesn't help at all. The Egyptians who built the pyramid were very ingenious. They identified structural problems with the construction of the first pyramids and came up with ways to prevent these issues from occurring in the next pyramids. They really wanted the pyramids to stand the test of time, and they did everything in their power to ensure that they would continue to stand.
And for that reason, plus the geographical conditions of its location, the Great Pyramid likely has up to a million years ahead. What is essentially a geological scale of time? It's a period of existence beyond human comprehension. But even the Great Pyramids can't withstand much larger scales than that. Planet Earth is truly a dynamic planet. The soil, the terrain, and the geography are constantly evolving, changing. And this change, although too slow for us to readily notice within our own lifetime, is actually quite rapid when we consider it in geological terms. The most ancient surface of our planet, continuously and naturally exposed, is in the Negev Desert and is about only 1.8 million years old. The Himalayas, the famous mountain range that is home to the world's current highest mountain, Mount Everest, was formed after the dinosaurs became extinct just 40 million years ago. When the current tallest mountain was made, dinosaurs had been extinct for 25 million years. No pyramid could ever withstand the geological processes that shape our planet. In fact, no human construction could possibly do so. Unless, now, things really start to get interesting. No human construction on the planet's surface today can last much longer than it currently does, which is, quite frankly, rather sad. But the good news is that because our species is very intelligent, we don't have to limit ourselves to Earth. Why don't we look towards space? Human beings first landed on the moon in 1969, and they left on the surface of the moon something that will last even longer than the ancient pyramids of Egypt enduring through the ages. Footprints. I know this information sounds crazy. How can a footprint last longer than a pyramid? But the conditions on the moon are very different from the conditions we encounter on Earth. On the moon, the atmosphere is extremely thin, almost non-existent. And the moon also lacks tectonism, which is indeed one of the major contributors to geological changes here on Earth. For instance, this crater at the south pole of the moon has more than 4 billion years. Earth has also been struck by objects throughout its history. In fact, one of the possible explanations for the origin of the moon is that an entire planet crashed into our planet. But we hardly see any signs of this today. However, on the moon, it's a different story. There is erosion, but it's caused by the impact of micrometeorites hitting the surface at high speeds. And this process of erosion is extremely slow, progressing at about one millimeter for every one million years, which is remarkably gradual. In other words, the footprints on the moon will continue to mark the surface of our only natural satellite for up to 100 million years. And since we're talking about satellites, in 1957 the first artificial satellite was placed into orbit around our planet Sputnik 1. It wasn't intended to be permanent, because it was used to give us information about the upper layers of the Earth's atmosphere. Because of this, it still experienced drag from the few air molecules that we find at altitudes over 200 kilometers. Three months later, it burned up re-entering Earth's atmosphere. I chose Sputnik 1 as an example, which lasted only a brief time in orbit, to address those who think satellites remain in orbit indefinitely. The International Space Station itself needs its orbit to be recurrently adjusted to prevent it from falling back to Earth. And that's a somewhat scary thought for the astronauts who are in there. But this doesn't happen if you have a geostationary satellite. A geostationary satellite has a very high orbit, far from any effects of the atmosphere. In fact, when one of these satellites finishes its useful service life, it is thrown into an even higher orbit, called a graveyard orbit, to not interfere with the operation of new satellites. And once in those orbits, it stays there forever. Or, for human purposes, it's forever. I mean, if we don't consider the fact that one day the sun will become a red giant and the Earth will likely be swallowed in the process, along with all geostationary satellites and everything we've left on the moon. In fact, we are already halfway through the lifespan of our star. We have about 5 billion years ahead of us. And even if we create something that lasts that scale of time, as geostationary satellites probably would, they would be destroyed in the same process that would destroy the Earth. But all hope is not lost. But what if I told you that we've already created the thing that will last the longest? It, or rather they, are already even outside the solar system. I'm talking about the two Voyager probes, and they will survive everything I've talked about in this video and much more. The two probes were launched in 1977, and if we were to put the estimated lifespan of the probes in percentages, they would have already lived 0% of their estimated time. I'm not even kidding. Unfortunately, the two probes will run out of battery in a few years, and then eventually we'll lose communication with them. But their carcasses still have trillions of years to live. And that's a lot, obviously. The two probes are literally the objects created by humanity that will last the longest. To give you an idea of how long that is, 
our galaxy will begin to collide with the Andromeda galaxy in about 4 billion years. The two Voyager probes are expected to persist through trillions upon trillions of times longer than that. Some of you might now be wondering, won't they eventually come into collision with anything, like a planet or a star, along the way? The answer is that it's more likely they will be ejected from our galaxy, rather than collide with anything. Whenever we talk about space, one thing we need to keep in mind is that there's a lot of space in space. The universe is very large, the distances are colossal, and even if you, let's say, pointed at the galaxy in the sky and traveled in that direction you just pointed, the chance of you ending up colliding with something is practically zero. During the collision of the Milky Way with Andromeda, both with billions of stars each, the chance of two individual stars colliding is extremely low. The greatest risk to the life of the two Voyager probes is the interstellar dust they will encounter along the way. Even small dust particles are enough to cause minor damage to the structure of the probes, which, accumulated over billions of years, can literally destroy them. But the trajectory they will take through the galaxy will greatly influence their estimated lifespan. If they pass through galaxy regions with a lot of gas and dust, their lifespan shortens. But the odds are in their favor, because the most likely scenario is that at least one of them will be ejected from the galaxy during the collision. And if that happens, Voyager will wander alone through the nearly absolute void of the universe for trillions upon trillions of years. It will continue to exist long after the last stars in the universe have burned out. It will have the privilege of watching the universe evolve, the last stars being born, dying, and then seeing all the galaxies that were once colorful and full of life turn into galaxies of black holes. And that concludes my research on which human-made object will last the longest. That object has already been created. And the answer is the two Voyager probes, or at least one of them, created by human beings but handed over to the universe. The likely last remnant of a humanity that once dared to dream of the stars, which now indeed has its final memory gently floating among them. And I find that fascinating. Thank you very much for following my research in this video. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.